Hello my friends. It is so good to see you all again. It is a wonderful, wonderful, uh, been a wonderful week. Um, yeah, um, so as you know, uh, Captain Zero uh, launched uh, on the 1st of October. And um, there's some links below where you can actually get the book or just look at a few pages as a sample, see if you like it or not. But, since we are in the month of October, I have decided that I want to draw something kind of Halloween here. So, let's do that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Getting everything set up on here. I think I want to draw a scary pumpkin. I think that would be fun to do. So, let's do that today. So, I'm using my Wacom tablet and the uh, the GIMP program and there's a link so you can get you a copy of the the uh, GIMP program as well and I think you'll enjoy it it's a, it's a fun program <clears throat> so let's begin I'm going to do three layers and the second layer will be my rough and I'm going to use like a light blue somewhere in here something like that there we go <clears throat> So we're going to work on the scary pumpkin. So this is basically just um, the loose sketch of what it's going to be. Okay. <clears throat> this time of year is always rough. It's like here in Tennessee, it's like uh, really, really dry, but like super hot, but not as humid as it's been to be in. So, like today, I think it was like 96, 97 degrees. I'm talking to you on Thursday, October 3rd. Uh, so, tomorrow is supposed to be about the same. So, you know, whatever. So, anyway, we're, we're doing all this cool stuff here, you see. <clears throat> now, I've done some drawings for Dave Good. And I haven't got to post any of this stuff I've been working on lately. And uh, in the upcoming video, I'll, I'll try to make sure that you guys get to see some of the stuff I'm doing. I've been really focusing on getting the Captain Zero book out. So I wanted to make sure that that was taken care of, and I wanted to do that. Yeah, we're going to just do a, something like this. I think this will just do. It's a really, really loose idea of what I want to do here. Yeah. And for those of you who like to carve jack-o'-lanterns, this would be just perfect for you. Hmm, it's like a lot of silliness here. Okay. Right there. Good shadow. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. So, the other night I tried to do a live stream and my archaic old-timey equipment just pretty much pooped out it just didn't want to work and uh i i couldn't i mean i no one could hear what i was saying there was like real bad uh problem i think there's a wire that's loose or an electronic device that's loose <clears throat> in the mic slot so i'm gonna have to fix that obviously because i really enjoyed doing that with you guys that was a lot of fun and um, everybody who showed up, thank you so much. <clears throat> even though it was only on there, well, like two minutes. I think it wasn't even very long at all. Um, but anyway, it was such, there was so much, so much um, distorted microphone sound. I, I just deleted it and uh, made a short apology video. So, so now that we're in the month of October... You know, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for Halloween. I always love uh, doing stuff for the Halloween time. Uh, usually, I go on a trip on the Natchez, Natchez Trace Parkway here in Tennessee. And it's just really relaxing. You know, there's nothing to go do, really. It's just a nice, quiet drive. Very calm. Relaxes the nerves. There's, and there's no Wi-Fi connection out that way. You know, really. I mean, I can't hook to a computer anywhere or anything. I mean, I'm gonna take my cell phone to take pictures and whatnot, but it's just something about being out there. It's so beautiful. Um, 
all the trees and leaves and everything's all different colors and it's just beautiful now with the heat being the way it's been a being you know so hot and stuff i don't even know if it's going to look that good to be honest with you you know um here in town all of our leaves on our trees have dried out so you know it looks pretty rough and let's see here okay anyway um so i like to do that now f for halloween itself i do the same thing every year put on plan nine from outer space uh dress like count dracula and give out candy to the little kids that do come around the neighborhood that's kind of fun uh this year my daughter is 13 and you know she's gonna want to she didn't really want to go trick-or-treating anymore, you know. So she says she wants to help me give out candy to the kids, so that'd be kind of cool. I'm sure she'll enjoy playing High from Outer Space. <laughs> uh, me. But anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like going over what I did, you know, with that loose... Um, blue kind of pencil look and then uh, I'm adding all this like you know kind of inking out if you will uh, all this coolness here you see like that <clears throat> now let's see now I haven't made any uh, drawing videos for a while and that's because you know like i was saying at the first part of the video i've been working on the captain zero book and i've also been doing some other projects and things uh i've been working on the uh, four barrel funeral album cover for their new record which should be around soon and that's going to be fun the music's just phenomenal <clears throat> and um so that's going to be neat but yeah, and then working on a lot of Dave's stuff for the the blog, and you know we're getting ready to do some stuff in the future with some of the uh, the good the good guy characters, good guy comics characters that he's created. Um, yeah, let's see. And I've been talking to uh, an old school chum of mine named Kevin Scott, and you've seen him on two of my videos. And uh, he's, you know, he's got some, he's got some pretty killer ideas, and um, you know, maybe, maybe me and him will co cook up something in the new year, comic book wise. Um, speaking comic book wise, uh, you know, like I said, Captain Zero, blah blah blah. Um, I'm already talking to my friend Andy Hardison about, you know, getting ready for another Captain Zero thing, and it, I mean, we just, I just literally released this, and he's. Got some great ideas, and it's going to look really cool, you know, getting everything together. Kind of bring this on around right here. Um, uh, here in Columbia, they have um, a place called Game Exchange, and I went in there yesterday, and I'm sure you have them in your city, you know. And um, me and my daughter stopped by in there. The last time I went, I was looking for old Atari games. Because I still have my 2600 uh, system here at the house. And I still play it. So, yeah. And, you know, what's really cool is I was watching um, Steady Craft and the Craftsman channel uh, here on YouTube. And it's a really good channel. And he was showing off his, um, uh, I, I, I don't want to say office. I, it's more of a shop in a way. You know, workshop. But then again, it is his office where he does his work. But. Anyway, um, yeah, that was really, it was really, really cool and everything. And then he stops and he has an old TV hooked up with an Atari attached to it, which is really neat. I like that a lot. And it just kind of made me smile real big. And I was just like, you know what? I need to hook mine back up and have it, you know, like he has a setup where he can just play it, you know, whenever he wants to. Mine's packed away in the back room. I just got to dig it back out and do this. Maybe during vacation or break time, because I'm going to take a little bit of a break, you know, at the end of the month or, yeah, toward toward Halloween I usually take a few days and just catch my breath. But um, oh yeah, oh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. 
All right, so we're just kind of just kind of making it kind of gross looking here, you know, with all the moldy dots and rotting and all this neat stuff. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put like a this like shadow area, and just kind of bring it around like that. And I, I'm thinking about this should be a this could be a pretty good T-shirt for the Halloween season. So that's what I'm probably gonna do with this when I get done is you know put it up. On my T Public page, and you know, people buy some, buy themselves some uh, Halloween, cool-looking Halloween stuff, uh, shirts, you know. And if not, you can just wear it at Christmas time and freak your family out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring this kind of this odd shadow out over here, and then down here, like this. And then where his eyes are in the shadow, I'm going to make it more like a pumpkin, a jack o' lantern, like like that, you know, something like that. And just you know, real cool like that. Right. And let's see what else we can do here. All right, so let's add a little more crazy detail. I'm going to drop this down to two and then just kind of, I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this right here. Get back over here to this and just kind of come in just doing all this rotted, you know, kind of look to it and you know, looking grossed out old pumpkin-y dude. So when I got through um, uh, working on Captain Zero, I've been real busy doing this uh, stuff this week, and then I got a phone call today to go to my daughter's Girl Scout meeting. Said you know bring some comics out, and I got to talk to these young ladies about comics and what I do and stuff, and they showed me some of their stuff that they were doing, and they, these kids, I mean, they just literally just done them no more than. 15 20 minutes before I got there, and I mean, for goodness sakes, the future of comics, you know, imagination wise, and it's got it's safe, it's got a good future. And, um, gosh, as I've always said, you know, if you got an idea, make you a comic book, you know, it's not that hard to do. If you can't draw, hire an artist, and if you can't write, uh, hire a writer if you can't do either one, but you got a good idea hire both and then sometimes you can just trade out with your friends and um, you know See if you can get them to do something, you know There we go See if I can help you get your ideas out there, you know something fun Kind of cross hedgy kind of thing back here a little bit. Yeah, here you go it's kind of out like that. Okay. I haven't been able to get out a whole lot lately because of the book. And uh, last Saturday here in town was a hot rod show. And part of me was like, you know, I can't really go. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I love hot rod shows. And uh, anyway... My brother, uh, Jamie, he uh, messaged me on the phone. He says, hey, I'm going to the Hot Rod Show. You want to go? And I was just like, yes, yes, I do. So I took a couple of hours off, and we rode up there. And at the end of the video, with a little bit of music by the Caligari Dali, uh, you're going to get to see some of the cars I saw at the show um, it's not every car that was there. There were so many to see. It was huge. Super hot outside. But we both had sun drops and just nice. It was a good day to, you know, go look at stuff like that. Again, a little warm, but, you know, whatever. So I'll be doing that in a second. All right, now let's get rid of that blue layer. It's gone. And let's grab that shadow here. Do this here like that and I think I'll do that one right there yep <clears throat> and 
and I'll just do that. Uh, let's get in here and do a little bit of cleanup work so it'll all be nice and you know smooth and stuff look good. So let's get the magic pen back together here. There we go. But yeah, it was so many cool cars and a lot of coolness going on. And I mean, weather-wise, I mean, you know, what we saw, you know. And the, the guys down at the tire shop off the square, you know, my brother was getting a flat taken care of at the same time. They said, yeah, you can leave your car here. So we didn't have to walk too far, really, you know, to get up to the, you know, the car show and stuff. Um, I, I subscribe to a lot of people on YouTube because regular TV bores me to death. And a lot of the people I subscribe to you on YouTube too has some really neat videos. So, you know, look through there and see, you know, check some of these guys out. It's some really fun stuff. Everything from toys to film to living off grid. Just neat stuff. Let's see here. Uh, wrestling and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to now uh, uh, do a little magic trick to this. So please stand by. Okay, on your screen, I'm doing a, a I'm using a, a thing called Inkscape because I really want uh, the image to be smooth. So now the image is like really, really smooth. So if I was to zoom in or whatever, like I'm fixing to do here, it's like really uh, smooth, like images and stuff. Almost as smooth as Slim Carity's voice on a hot summer afternoon. So, oh, let's see, we gotta fix this right here. Yes. Let's fix that right quick. Okay, drag that right there. Let's see, if let's see if there's anything else that could be fixed. Anything I need to touch up or link together or whatever. Let's see. Let's see here. Get those off there. There you go. That'll work. Okay. All right. And we're going to save this as an SVG. Inkscape is really cool. And if you don't have Inkscape, you might have Corel Draw, which does the same thing. But Inkscape is free, and I like free software. Excuse me, I guess up a Mountain Dew. Okay, so now we've got that saved. Gonna close that out. Let's open this up in the GIMP program and add color. And um, I'm gonna blow this thing up huge. Let's see, let's do 200 resolution. And we're going to put it at 6,000. Let's see. Is that what I want to do? Let's do a height of 6,000. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so it's, it's going to do this thing for me here. And I'm going to grab this off here. I want to grab that. Edit and copy. Close that. And let's do a new one at 6,000 by 6,000. By 6,000. At. Let's do 200, like I was saying a while ago. And there you go. 
and he'll say that, but it's okay. And um, I really don't, you know, I need that. I need to add layers. Layers are awesome. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. It's been a long week. I'm doing this on a Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. And I've been up since like 5 o'clock this morning. Probably should have waited, but I really wanted to do a video. So, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so now it's, uh, you can see on your screen it's scaling down <clears throat> to fit inside the 6,000 by 6,000 uh, box. And I usually don't show y'all all of this stuff. But I think this time I kind of wanted to. You know, it's kind of... I'll move that over just a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. So, now... Okay. So now I'm going to uh, grab from the, um, the image around the uh, jack-o'-lantern. Then I'm going to invert it. And I'm going to shrink it by about two... All right, and then down below, right here, I'm going to add the uh, an orange, uh, the color orange, or as we say when I was growing up, orange, kind of uh, burnt orange right there. Yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add another layer. Right, and then drag it down below there. Back on the drawing, grab the eyeballs like that, and then these as well. All right, and then here, and then do the same thing. Um, grow it by uh, two percent. Grow, and then by two. Okay, and then we're going to add the. The orangey yellow, more, one more yellow. Yep, there you go. Like that right there. Now, since I did all that detail and stuff with the drawing, I'm I don't think I'm going to add effects, you know, colors to this, but I think I will put a phrase over it. Um, then again, sh let's let's see what it looks like. Let's let's try this. We're going to select the orange layer, and then we're going to make another layer above the orange layer. Here you go. And let's see, let's grab black, and then drop the opacity, <laughs> opacity, opacity <laughs> down to about 49 or whatever. It may be too much. I'm not sure yet. Let's find out. Trans. Uh, the color to transparent. I'm down here at the bottom and then bring her up to about right there. Oh, that adds a little bit of eeriness to it, doesn't it? Doesn't it now? Just add a little bit more right there to the bottom. Yes, yes. A little bit more. Ah, it says rotting pumpkin at Halloween, doesn't it? Yes. And now really make this pop let's grab that yellow on that layer there okay and I'm going to take the white and then the brush and make sure it's on a soft brush and let's bring this down to it's the opacity to about 50 and then the size let's do 200 it may not be enough but we'll see Nope, not nowhere near enough. Let's do 2,000. There we go. And the fire will be coming from about right here. So, one, just start clicking it there. Yeah, there you go. Down here a little bit, not this much. Okay. Then, we're going to grab the same orange we used before. And we're going to come down with it inside on that yellow like that there you go and if you want to do a little bit more you could do a little bit more like you know just you know by hand or whatever 
kind of make it, you know, come alive just a little bit more, like that. And maybe too much. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so now what we want to do is... You know what? I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think I want to uh, add any phrase or word over it or anything like that. Yeah, I think I'll leave it just like this. Let's blow it up so we can see what we got here. Oh, yes, that is delightful. And look at that. Look at that. That is nice and Halloween-y and creepy and whatnot. And these little gray dots, they won't be there in the final product, of course. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. I'll add a layer, drop it to the very back, and say you want to... Like a... I don't know. Uh, let's just do a regular orange T-shirt. There you go. Just fill that all in right there. Look at that. Well, that's Halloween right there. That is cool. So I thank you all for watching. I want to remind you again that um, yes, I have comic books and they're available at lulu.com and indie planet i'm on social media i'm on the facebook twitter instagram youtube um tumblr and um uh, i love talking to people and available for projects and whatnot but for now here is the uh, but for now, I'm going to let you go. And here are the pictures from the Hot Rod Show with some nice music from the Calgary Dali. And it's a new one from their upcoming uh, uh, CD, uh, which will be coming out hopefully soon. And I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did. Tales of sword and sorcery and science fiction. Strange worlds featuring Scar the Barbarian and Mercy, Queen of Luna. New from Vanguard Comics. Written and created by Rain Judge and illustrated by Vance Capley.